Which we got. What? what are you saying? Well, I'm, I'm telling my grand tale. Well, could you tell it in English? Oh, it is English. Old English. Nobody speaks like that anymore. Fine. So long ago in Denmark, there was the great King Rothgar. He and his thanes lived in the Mead Hall head. They would have many, many great parties there. God, they were great parties. Our story ends after one of these amazing the story parties comes to its staggering, stumbling, drunken end. Jesus! Who's Jesus? I don't know what you're talking about. Who is it? It is I, Beowulf, the great geet. I have come to slay Grendel. How do you know about Grendel? I only found out about him myself. This is a nice mead hall. The mead hall is of no importance. How do we know you can finish the job? Unfirth, why do you doubt our totally unexpected and uninvited guest? Because I've heard stories that he cannot outswim Brecca. This little worm just insulted your honor guest. I heard that Brecca had to carry this joker back on his back. Oh, you have your facts wrong, you little opportunist. Many years ago, Brecca and I were young and hot-headed. And I bet Brecca and I could outswim him any day. He accepted my challenge, and so we, in our youth, took our regular swimming gear, you know, heavy chain mail, heavy helmets, uh, swords, shields, you know, you know, and swam out to sea. But soon night fell, and when this happened, oof, the monsters came. I fought beasts like leviathans, and and serpents! Whales? Y yes, fearsome blue whales with their, with their small little bristles. But soon, soon, I had defeated all the beasts. And though Brecca had decided to swim ashore, and though Brecca had decided to swim ashore, I stayed and fought the monsters, which means that I was the winner. That was a mistake. no need to apologize, Unferth. It's all okay. We all make mistakes. Except for me, of course. You know, I am Beowulf. OMG! Grendel! You're not supposed to be here yet! No, 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 no. Decided to come early? You can understand him? Well, yes, I speak subtitles. Oh, silly me. Meow, 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 meow. Ha ha! I have his arm! <laughs> he hissed at me. <laughs> I used the clever art of camera work. I have defeated Grendel. Thank you for saving up me. Have some gold. Ho ho! Well, that's just great there, that is. Super duper super duper cop. Hello. You needed me? It's Beowulf. How did you get back here? Well, I, I came back because I saw the Beowulf signal shining in the sky. Oh, I also forgot my sword. How could you forget your sword? It's a man's greatest asset. This is a pretty nice cave, I mean. Oh my! 
twelve apostles, Peter, Paul, and Mary! It's even more hideous than Grendel! <laughs> well, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Ba -ba -da -ba! Okay then, that was weird. Oh, but I'm not done yet. Oh, of course you're not. Yes. <laughs> Many years later, I became king of the gates and ruled happily. Then an idiot thief. Must have been a relative of Unferth. Well, he stole from the local dragon. Local? Local dragon? Of course. Every kingdom had a dragon or two back then. I mean, you, you literally needed one when filing for kingdomhood. It, it was just one of the things that you had to do. But, getting back... Anyway, this boat stole the dragon's goblet. The foul beast tore apart the land looking for it. So, being the amazing, magnificent king I was, I tracked down the dragon. Men, today we fight this flying lizard to defend our homeland. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, well, no, no, yeah, 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 okay. good, yeah, yeah. Mm, things, yes. Yes, sir. Good. Ah, this was not what I expected at all. Oh, it burns. It burns. Thane, <laughs> what's your name? It is Wiglaf, son of Wostan. Uh, Wiggy, what happened to the other man? Tell her enough, sir. Oh, well, that's what I get for hiring a bunch of thieves as Thanes. <coughs> Wilbur. W Wilbur. Wiglaf, sir. Right, right, right. W Wig. Uh, uh, you are the only person who saved my life. You shall take my place as the next king of the Keats. <coughs> no! And then I died. Well, now you're just lying to me. No, I'm not. You're obviously not dead. You're talking to me now. Well, you're just not looking at it from the right perspective. Who are you anyway? Why am I telling you this? Whose house is this? I'm leaving. And you can have this pelt. <laughs> 